Welcome to Welcome to Hell, the podcast for sinners, where you send us your tales of iniquity and we offer our infernal judgement. So you died, get over it. We have. You think you're the first one to be swallowed by a whale? Climb on out of that blowhole and head through the fiery gates for a good old fashioned gossip with me, Daniel Fox, comedian, natural bleach blonde and Hell's resident receptionist. And me, Dane Buckley, comedian, face of a Greek god, body of Turkish delight and lapsed angel actually. Darling. Darling. Hello, how, here we are. Our podcast. Episode one of our podcast. Finally. At last, the people have been literally oh, keep screaming out for screaming this. Screaming for us to do this. Um, who are we? Dane is the world's only Irish Indian gay comedian, possibly. Could could there was that yeah. other one and then they She died. Tragically, tragically fell down those stairs that you had spent all day polishing. <laughs> so um you are a mover, a shaker, <laughs> a wordsmith, and a relatively good person. In that you have worked with the people in your life. Sorry, I thought you were going to mention my singing, but okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I've ruined the lives of many a shop assistant, I think, and occasionally a married man, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. But I have worked with the people in the social work field. I've worked with elderly, young, mediocre people for thousands of half days, potentially. Yeah. So. And this was your that was your life pre comedy, wasn't was, it? Exactly. So um, I think I've got a lot of karma in the bank. Yeah, Thanks. you are on on average, I would say, a little bit. Better looking than you. Yeah, I would. Well, I wouldn't go so stretch the sort of limits of the imagination as much as that. But I would say that on average, karmically, you're probably a little higher than me. Probably. I don't think that bar is very high. But yeah, I would say. I would mm. say so. I mean, because who are you, Daniel Fox? Mm. You are a devoted mother, wet mm. nurse to a beautiful dog, man, fleet of household staff. And also, more than that, you're internet sketch royalty, aren't you? Thank you for reading that out that I wrote on that page. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, the kick. Uh, yes, you may know me uh, from internet sketches posing <laughs> as the supervillain's gay assistant. Many different varieties of smug middle class mother yeah. or indeed hell's receptionist. Yeah. Um, which is why when it came to making a sketch, we naturally landed here. Absolutely. Two little queens on the front desk of hell. Where we belong. Where we belong. Welcoming sinners to the party. Yes, we're dear friends, aren't we, darling? We're we friends. Do. Love a scandal, a key key. Our WhatsApp chat is like 24-7, bitching, gossiping. Saying horrible things about other people. Just what we're essentially doing is welcoming the listener into the group chat, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, come and join us. This is our group chat yeah. where we share a recipe, then we share a photo of someone we hate, and we all go, exactly. what a three out of ten. Exactly, exactly. We won't necessarily give them admin rights. They have to work that. They have to earn that. No. But you are absolutely welcome to listen in. Yeah. Um, this podcast is just, we wanted it to be a safe space to acknowledge that we are all wicked little sinners at heart and that that's okay. Um, so we're going to be sharing our bitch and embarrassing stories each week and then we'll be inviting you to do the same, our beautiful listener. Um, we're going to be reading your confessions and grievances each week. Uh, and if you wanted to write in, where could they do that, Dave? They could do that in a host of places. You had me at the ready there. Mm-hmm. And if you want to write in, we're inviting you to send us an email at judgment at hellpod.com. Find us on all the socials, Grinder, Christian Mingle, you name it, at the Hellpod. Or use the anonymous form on our website, hellpod.com. Hellpod.com. And that's our <laughs> elevator pitch. Well done. We did it. We're here. Good night. Good night, everybody. End of podcast. (laughs) And hell has its perks. Every episode, we're going to start with a little cocktail. We're going to take Mm. it in turns to make it. Uh, Dane likes, uh, famously, a very sweet cocktail. I like a cocktail that is bitter and acrid and tastes like poison. Um, They're representative of of our souls. Of our our souls. Dane, I believe you're being mother. I am. I I am. I've got the haircut for it, haven't Mm -hmm. I? Look at these butch cups. Or or listeners can (laughs) look Look at them and I took it from you. Listeners can just hear. Ah, the best that eBay... Can buy. Where were they got from? I, I don't even want to advertise it, but one of those many garbage sites ah, where um, okay. you order a t shirt and when it arrives, your website, a small list, <laughs> my match site. These are Butch. So Butch. So Butch. Um, we have to, for the sake of uh, the, the very expensive podcast that we're in, by the beautiful grace of Spotify Studios, um, put our drinks in cups with a lid. Yeah. So that our little limp wrists don't splash <laughs> alcohol over their very expensive equipment. So we have decided to buy anyone not watching. I mean, you're lo- you're losing out. Diamante covered beakers. Gosh. Like it is, it is a glittery. Imagine the advert for these. It is Elton John condensed into a cup. Yeah. 
Look at that. Selfridges. We should one day we should sell these as merch. Oh my god, absolutely. Welcome to Hell Cups. The welcome to Hell Beaker. Welcome to Glamour. Welcome to Glamour. Fashion. Passion. Right. So take a sip and I'll lead you through. Okay. Shall I try and guess what? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, matron. Hang now. on. No, shut up. Don't get it straight away. I mm. want to say it's got dandelion and burdock in it. It well, commit, tastes... darling. Will you be saying that or will you not? I'm saying it has dandelion and burdock Fuck on it. Fuck you. I didn't think you'd get it. It has. I'm a... Listen, I'm a countryside boy. You think I, I thought... can't taste a hedgerow herb? <laughs> <laughs> Enough about your sex life. <laughs> hedgerow herb? <laughs> the name I used to dance under. <laughs> mm. So, I am calling this Granny's Ruin. Yeah. It is dandelion and burdock, uh, that posh make, we all know the one, mm. and gin, and a Senecot tablet to keep you regular. <laughs> so, basically... <laughs> <laughs> well, gene tea is often called mother's rune, and then mm. I thought, let me go a bit, let me go on brand. I Daniel love, looks like a granny. I love this. Isn't it nice? It is a bit sweet, but I love dandelion and burdock, mm. obviously. The witchy poo energy of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've said this before yeah. um, on our other podcast, aka <laughs> our, our voice WhatsApp notes. voice yeah. notes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we There are different types of camp man. Yeah. yeah. So there is the camp that's like Yas Queen, mm. bubbly fun. Um, then there's a different type of camp, which I think I would identify as, which is elderly lady trapped in a boy's body. hundred percent. And I've been that since day dot. Yeah. And I was a dandelion and burdock boy. Absolutely. Age five years old. My, when, you know, when kids are like, mommy, can I have some? It was dandelion and burdock. Yeah. It was elderflower cordial. And yeah. it was a harsh Victorian lemonade from a national trust house. As a child, I made my own sweet, my own candy from scratch. <laughs> That's something I did. Of course you did. What camp would you call me then? Oh, I think you're sort of somewhere in between the two. Fun aunt. Fun aunt. I'll take that. Yeah. And also, like, with the whole Indian vibe, auntie, you know, it's all on brand. Mm. Yes, because you are, as I, as I said earlier. Yeah, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. So when don't he does that accent, come for me. don't come flying for him. But when Daniel does his famous Jamaican accent, when I you will love it. do my <laughs> Jamaican accent. Anyway, she's quite nice, isn't she? Mm. She's very strong, though. She's deceitful. It, okay, I'm just going to have she a She is deceitful. <laughs> Go slowly through her. And Dandelion, do you know about this? I was telling someone the other day and they had no idea and they thought I was like rewriting the world. Dandelion, they say, do you remember this thing? If you pick it, you wet the bed? Oh, uh, very vaguely. Which is funny because Dandelion tea, you used to have, I mean, you all know, when you've got excess fluids. Yes, well, I have lots of it <laughs> yeah, at home. You, uh, it releases you. I don't just... like to have any fluid in me at all. <laughs> That's not what I heard. I've seen your own... <laughs> I've seen oh, your you've only seen my fans. videos. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, I uh, okay. We must quickly hold on for the listener. When you do that high pitch laugh, the cackle. Yeah, that means you really found something funny. It's yes. not because your fake laugh is wonderful, mm. but that's your that's, that's your my. Like, someone's just said something nasty yeah. or shocking. <laughs> um, we, very quickly for anyone watching, Gosh, and and actually yes. an audio description for yes. the listener. Two beautiful demigods in the background. We've got our poster. and Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> we have our poster in the background. Lovely. You can see it on the thumbnail of yeah. wherever you're listening to this. We also have some giant pewter candelabras mm. with red candles in them. It is, we have turned Spotify Studios, very professional, very butch um, studio <laughs> into a camp boudoir. I brought these candelabras, yeah. candelabras, candelabras down from Leeds. In then your I'm, ass. In you? That's where you stored them. Smuggled up my ass. <laughs> they are at least, I'm going to say five and a half foot tall. Yeah. I had to bring them both into central London. <laughs> the taxi driver looked at me like, oh, here we go again. Seeing you fall Another out Another one that, of these faggots. Seeing you fall out of that taxi holding them, though, was one of the mm. best things I've ever seen. Yeah. It really was. And we've named them, haven't we? Yes, we have. Um, Cassia? Cassia and Cinnamon. And Cinnamon. Two lovely Chiswick girls. Lovely Chiswick. Yeah, me and mummies. They're, they're going to have an Edinburgh show and they will have their own They'll have an Edinburgh up. Fringe show and their own, po- and their own separate podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very quiet. But um, Dane, how are you? What have you been up to? I've been waiting for you to tell me about resolutions. Haven't you been up some resolutions? <laughs> yes, on the script, which I will just say was a fucking nightmare getting the script ready because <laughs> the printer mm. at my house was broken. I had to go the to a running Ryman's. narration I got was lovely. I had it to was... go to a Ryman's. Who knew that yeah. still existed? Yeah. The woman, I go behind the, I, I walk in, I say, hello, do you do printing? She goes, I, well, excuse me, we do do printing, but we will not be printing until three o'clock. Okay, because we're short of staff. <laughs> I look at her, she's sitting behind an empty you desk. You took off your gloves and slapped her. I slapped her with my driving gloves. She's sitting behind an empty desk yeah. in an empty Ryman's in a back alley of London. Yeah. Not one soul in that shop. I'm sorry, I can't put this. We're short of staff. You'll have to wait till three. Do you know what, though? Wouldn't we be that bitch? <laughs> yeah. We'd say that then. Eat, you'd eat a croissant in front yeah, of yeah. her just to be... Sorry, I'm actually on my break. Yeah, yeah. I've got 24 seconds left, actually. Thank Maintain. You. 
eye contact the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting my cross eye. Yeah, okay, fine. So to be fair. Um, I wanted to talk to you about New Year's resolutions today. Oh, gosh, I didn't know. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> At the present time, yeah. it is early February. Yeah. Um, I made, Oh, we're being honest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made many resolutions Yeah. in January. But I have a motion. I've decided January is not the time for a New Year's resolution. You begin in February. January is a fallow, fallow month. Mm, I've um, always felt it was a fallow month. A fallow month. Distant relative of callow. Callow, Simon yeah. Callow. And you, I just think it's a month to be just sort of left behind. I was busy yeah. being lazy. I have been lying face down. I have been scoffing my face. Have I have I kept up my resolutions of keep a journal, go to regular jogs, <laughs> smile? No. I love that you fooled yourself early on because I got the voice notes and being like, I'm doing this, I'm going to do that. I bought a new pen. Mm. My official ink is lavender colour. It's actually emerald green. <laughs> I mix my own. I combine two different colours of ink. Anyway. Um, <laughs> That's funny because it's we, fucking true. We don't have time. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a mix of Sherwood Green and Emerald City <laughs> is my, my signature ink colour. Um, anyway, the I'm starting in Feb. Right. We're here. It is the six. You don't want to be bound by the Western ideal of, of no, January. No, I begin the spring equinox. The spring situation. equinox. The, Feb, the lunar calendar. Mm. I don't know what. Whatever that is. That is, I we begin go. then. Um, I'm going by the cycles of the moon. Yeah. So I'm starting now. I'm trying to be a bit healthy. Nice. I'm, I'm starting again. This is my new so year. So you're having for breakfast uh, a gin-based cocktail. <laughs> but it's got dandelions in it. Oh, of course. It's a herb. A herb even. So I wanted to ask you have, mm. you, have you kept up any resolutions or are you starting? Yeah. Did you make any and did you keep them? I made a really important one and it's something I've thought about for a long time. Um, two parts. One, I'm going to try and bring, bring back the word bilious. <laughs> That's something I'd like to bring to 2024. Okay. Um, I feel like we've forgotten about her and... We shouldn't. She's sorry. I didn't get emotional. She's someone too. You know. She's her own person. She is. And for your listeners listening who wouldn't know <laughs> what that word meant, would you like to describe it to them? Um, using a sentence, Daniel's fashion choices do make me bilious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it do make me bilious. Do make me bilious. I was doing billiard table spinning, and bilious comes from the same origin. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Greek etymology. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, that's one of them. I don't okay. clearly know the origins You're bringing of her, back but I, I'm bringing back Bilius. And also, I might start saying what with a H. What? What? All W words. Where? I love the American. I'll meet you Wednesday. Because there's the posh, yes. posh lady, Brit version yeah. of that. What? But then oh, okay, there's, yeah. I love a, a the sort posh of American. transatlantic. Yes. What? Why? You do that really well. Thank you. So I'm they're the two things I'm going into twenty twenty four with. They're 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 my they're on my medicine wheel. That's a really good thing to be rid that's self care. I think so. Yeah. What have you been up to? God, I hate to talk about this, but I've been on tour support. It's begun now. Oh, with, in tour support proper has begun. Go on. With the gorgeous Rosie Jones. Mm -hmm. We're going around the UK and Ireland, Scotland, you name it. And it's lovely to do that because she had some other people do it for her previously. Mm. But um, she had some <laughs> high class. Was she high class? Beautiful, high performance. Uh, yeah, that's this. I heard there was a full risk with that elderly comedian. <laughs> and so they wanted someone a little bit stronger. Because little... this is how we, me and Dane kind of became friends, yeah. really. I was doing tour support yeah. <laughs> for comedy tour support, which is when you are the warm up act, yeah. which means that the audience sees you come on stage and they go, yeah. oh, what the fuck? I didn't think they were like, oh, where's yeah, yeah. the person I paid to see? Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. truly. The baptism of fire of comedy. To be fair, though, when it comes to, like huge openings, a lot of people do think of you. Yes, don't they, they do. You? <laughs> Warm, generous. <laughs> when um, he bends over, he looks like the Japanese flag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you were doing that, weren't you? I was doing that. I was. You do so much driving. I did oh, yeah. fifty thousand miles. Yeah. In my car over two years of doing tour sport, the circumference of the earth is 24,000 miles. I've driven around the earth twice. 20k of those was voice noting me. And I voice, we yeah. we sort of made a voice note friendship. Yeah. We'd met a couple of times, but we yeah. we were like voice noting each other. And then we were all worried when we'd meet, like maybe mm. it wouldn't work out. We'd just be like, I'd wait an hour for you to finish speaking and then be like, okay, thank you. And then do my one. Yeah. Weren't we? Just speak one at a yeah. time while the other one has a completely blank face. So I'd stepped in for you for a gig. You were getting like um, a routine rhinoplasty or something. One of my routine anal yeah. bleachings. Yeah. And, um, uh, someone came up to me and said, "Oh, you're, you're, 
Daniel Daniel Fox. And we look nothing alike. No. And so I just was letting on that um, this is how I look when I'm out of London, basically. <laughs> In London, I'm kind of very slim, blonde, slightly cold ice queen. I come out of London, I have a heart, I have a soul, I have a tan. You know? <laughs> I've changed race. <laughs> yeah. I've changed race. I'm butcher, obviously. Younger. Background and dancing, younger. And there was definitely a few people being like, Dan D Daniel Fox? I'm like, <laughs> obviously, I'm not Daniel Fox. I voice noted you, who then in turn told me. Yeah. Because I had done tour support like the next day, I think. Yeah. For someone else. Yeah. And someone came up to me and went, We've seen you before. We <laughs> loved you when you were supporting Tom Allen, which I've never done. No. But Dane was doing. <laughs> so what are they? they just heard like a camp person on stage and gone, There he is again. And didn't you say to them, What, Dane, Irish Indian? Do you mean the Irish yeah. Indian man? They were like, Yeah, we loved you. Maybe we're just like interchangeables, gays. Maybe. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. I've been absolutely loving it. Back on the road. Mm. Good crap. Great. Okay, listener, imagine this. The gays have gentrified hell. There's a Sunday market. There's an art house. There's even a little Waitrose, isn't there? Thank God. What's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to rewrite The Seven Deadly Sins, aren't we, Dan? Mm -hmm. So for anyone who doesn't know, the original Seven Deadly Sins are pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. Incidentally, the se names of my seven daughters. <laughs> I was going to uh, make that joke. <laughs> little gluttonies. <laughs> marvellously this morning. Um, they're very outdated. Yeah. We've always said this. Who doesn't love a bit of pride? I used to hear those sins and be like, challenge accepted. I'll do all of those. I'll do all of them today. <laughs> at once. <laughs> yeah. the In this room. The hick burp of... Um... Oh, did you get that? Mm -hmm. Did you get my hiccup? Oh, no, I was just making up. Did you just do oh, it? I just did what as you said. Oh, it. No, I, I said you were just outing me. I was going to say the hick burp of morality. Right, I did a hick burp as, like, literally. Anyway. Glamour. A peek be behind the arty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, producer, our producer Yanis has just said that's absolutely staying in. Okay. Um, <laughs> my only pleasure in life is gluttony and sloth. Sometimes the girl in Pret doesn't give me oat milk. <laughs> Am I supposed to not be wrathful? Should I not be getting her fired? I just think... Yeah. These things aren't sins anymore. No. But because they're from a fucking time... Oh, sorry, I'm quite straight. <laughs> I loved this. Who's <laughs> coming through now? <laughs> no idea what spirit's coming. <laughs> no, that chin's getting to me. But they're from a time where, like, shrimp was a sin. illegal. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, a, a, a blended poly... A poly blend. I was trying to get... I couldn't even say and it. And quite right that that's a sin. <laughs> if, if anyone should be being stoned to, to death. To be fair. Yeah. There's people worrying. But you should be able to have a prawn cocktail in peace. But yeah, so they're from a time... They're out of date. Um, and um, because of that, I guess we've decided there should be new evils allotted. We should choose some new sins for the current century. Yeah. So each week we're just going to bring something that we'd like to write on the list. Exactly. There's a new cardinal sin. The important things. The important things. Like sodomy isn't an abomination. Abom <laughs> abomination? <laughs> I was going to rap. This is a strong drink. Yeah. I mean, you were going to do a rap on sodomy. Go on. No, no. <laughs> You're going to do one of your famous. Oh, my famous raps on sodomy abomination. Raps. Uh, determination for <laughs> determination for mm. abomination discrimination S to my inclination okay that was not terrible. it wasn't the worst thing i've ever heard it wasn't the worst thing you've ever heard look at this we're we're a mere 30 okay. minutes okay. in um so yeah i yeah do you want to continue <laughs> Dan. hey hey so what do you think you're going to throw in the hellfire today okay the very first thing my my Premier debut yeah. sin yeah. for the new list of seven deadly sins. Yeah. Costa coffee. Uh, well, well. It is disgusting. It is vile. Yes. Thank you. It's a crime. It's a war crime. So many people fucking love it. We love it. Oh my God. It is like battery soaked in milk. Yeah. It is acidic. It is horrid. Yeah. People treat, pe when people say, I'm going to treat myself to a Costa. A Costa. I think, oh, I might treat myself to um, a bath with a toaster. <laughs> what I might do. Do you know, I was earwigging to a couple chat the other day and they were breaking down how much they love Costa. The only thing I could give Costa is the ribbed cup. Like the thing the liquids are held in. Yes. But that is it. That, that is, is literally it. it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think... I... What do you think the order is of coffee shops then? Okay, I'm going to rank the coffee shops for you now. Of British chains. Yeah. So yeah. obviously there's all sorts of lovely independent coffee shops that we would choose yeah. first. And I'm also not going to include your patisserie Valerie's Pat Val. No. I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Pat Val. No me used to dance on it. I'm not going to include um like black sheep coffee or some of no. the slightly more niche ones. I'm going big mega chains. Yeah. And I'm going to say, here is my official ranking right. of British coffee chains. Pret. 
Yeah. Controversial, but I think it is. I think it's top. I think it's consistent. Yeah. It never tastes burnt. It never tastes acrid. Their pumpkin spice is good. It's Yes. Yeah. Their speciality coffee is never too sweet. No. No. Um, Leon. Yeah, I agree with that. Slightly more at market. Yeah. I think it's harsh. nice. It's quite adult tasting yeah. coffee, but it's not, again, it's not burnt. It's not horrible. Below that, I'm going to put Starbucks. Yeah. Girl, I stand up for Starbucks all the time. I think it is decent. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, again, would I prefer a lovely little pretentious coffee made by a barista? Yes. Yeah. But I will accept a Starbucks if I'm en route in my car somewhere. To that not is, doing tour support. To not be doing yeah. tour support because you've <laughs> thieved it out from under me. Um, that is where I'm putting it. Uh, below Starbucks, I'm going to put Cafe Nero. Yeah. Would We're never like willingly go in. No. But if it's I like do, an it's... ash taste in their coffee as well. Yeah. It's not great. It's not bad. No. No. It's not great. It's not I'm, bad. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to do Greg's. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't and even know they did coffee. They do coffee. They, I mean, I can only they have They do a, a coffee flavored donut. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> they don't do oat milk. No. But no. their black coffee, pff, whatever. Uh, believe that, I'm going to put wild bean. Oh, gosh. She is butch. I'm putting wild bean wow, on that. I've never had that. It's vile. I could imagine. It's like machine. It's absolutely. Just, so, yeah. And under that, I am putting Costa. Okay. That is how much yeah. I detest it. Yeah, it's fucking bad. It's shit. It's offensive how much they charge yeah. for what is a terrible coffee. Yeah. Thank you. Shalom. I'm going to treat myself to a cost. How? Because Yanis has just said, what about McDonald's? I'm putting it on a... Okay, Yanis. All right. McDonald's. I'm going to go. Fret, Leon, Starbucks, Nero, McDonald's, Greg's, Wild Bean, Costa. How about that? Okay, I think that's enough from us, particularly you, Dan. You've got a very, very shrill speaking voice, haven't you? So. Yeah, and if you were to read the bit that actually happens next on the script, where would that go? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dane, what are you throwing into the fires of hell? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I was... Yes, good point. <laughs> Keep all of this in. <laughs> what I'm throwing... I'll tell you what I'm throwing into the fires of hell. Once again, yeah. look to me for the important things. Mm -hmm. People that say off themselves, I'm an old soul. Okay. Should have been killed at birth. Yeah. Okay, talk me through that. I was hanging out with a lad. I don't know its name. And... Um, As you do love to do. Of course. We were hanging out in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, kind of trying to look kind of cute and said... I'm actually a bit of an old soul. <laughs> like, you're actually going to have to write a will because I'll snap that neck. You can't say that you about can't yourself. Say that. What, you do, what a lady would do mm. is people say I'm an old soul. Project it onto the public to say that. That's not your fault if they have things to say about you. Or you you, you be an old soul yeah. as a child and yeah. you let the dinner ladies say it about <laughs> you. you. Let your best friends, the dinner ladies, <laughs> say it about you. Uh, people who say that they are an old soul, men who say it, and it's always men, I'm a bit yeah. of an old soul, they just mean, I am a man, but I'm wearing a scarf. Yeah, or I have driving gloves. Yeah. Or I know what you lang you lang is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not attractive. Old soul is the man in his 30s and above Yeah. version of a soft boy. I think the fact that this was like a lad who was my age, mid-20s, mm. saying of himself, he's an old soul. It's like, no, you're not, Han. Instantly limp. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's it was gross. And the look in his eye, the the pleased Soap little smug. look. I just wanted to snap that neck time. in three what different do they mean? places. I've watched Seinfeld. Yeah. I yeah. once read a book. Yeah. I remember life before Netflix. Do you know what I mean? No. no. God, absolutely not. Die. Okay. There we go. Two okay. new sins, old souls and I'm really glad coffee. this podcast is talking about the important things. Though. Yes, this okay. is the place where you come to for the, the serious issues. <laughs> this is the part of the episode where we turn the evil eye on you, our dear listeners. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? We're going to have some letters. Yeah, we've taken to social media and we've asked you, our very beautiful, very special, very intelligent listener. I know what's coming. And also Dane's fans. <laughs> too. In fact, um, on that note, if um, if any of Dane's fans wanted to to write in, Bastard. then of course you just gesture to one of the lovely young people in the care home and um, just get them to uh, take you by the hand, get you up out of that chair, take you into the, is it an IT suite? Perhaps bring you the the, the iPad and, and show you the website. And, and, and just so you remember, that was HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash uh, www.thehellpod.com. No, hellpod.com. Um, or all of our socials are at the hellpod. Okay, so yes, you can send in your confessions and grievances and let us, we, let we, the Infernal Aunties, let us. The Sorry, Infernal, Infernal Aunties, I think that's one of the terms we're gifting the public to call us. Yes, I no. think we, we are inviting... 
the public to refer to us <laughs> as the infernal aunties. Um, let us judge you. Yeah. Tell us your tales. Get in touch. We'd could be love any- to do that, but we'll try. And these, listen, this could be, hey, want to hear about an incredibly embarrassing or naughty thing I've done. Yeah. But it could also be, hey, my boss is a cunt. Yeah. He did yeah. this. Which of us is in the wrong? Could be a, so are you the demon? Let's find <laughs> out. Um, I'm going to read letter one. Do it. In a Welsh accent, I heard. I believe <laughs> I was going to do it in a Welsh accent. <laughs> no, please don't. I'm not going to. It will come out Indian. Um, we can't be cancelled halfway through episode one. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Dear Daniel and Dane. And I love that they've got the order correct from day one. Okay. Am I the demon for not taking my mother to a sex shop? My father had recently died, but apparently my mother's needs had not. Not judging, just please, for the love of God, don't tell me about it. She came to me one day saying she needed me to take her to the condom store. (laughs) After suppressing my gag reflex, I told her I was not comfortable doing that. She's legally blind and does not drive, so in her mind, I was the only option. She could never ask my brother how embarrassing. She won't drop it and keeps pestering me, saying she needs a special battery for her toy. I tell her if it's a rechargeable kind, she may just have to get a new one. No, she she insists. It just needs new batteries, but they're a special kind you can only get at the condom store. (laughs) I don't believe her. I ask her to bring me the batteries after she takes them out of the toy and bring them to me. I tell her there's a speciality battery store we can go to rather than the sex shop, but she doesn't believe me. She brings me the batteries and they're fucking AA. Apparently she just Hold couldn't... on, which ones are the AA? The, the norm, very normal ones. Oh, the ones okay. that go in your... The ones that are in... Yeah. Your remote, yeah. Yeah. And your vibrated, darling. Okay. <laughs> Apparently she just couldn't get them right. Fast forward two years and said toy has broken and she asked me again to take her to the condom store. Again, I tell her I'm uncomfortable doing that. She doesn't take no for an answer and looks up the address of the nearest sex shop. She tells me in the car as I'm driving her to church, no less, <laughs> that she has the address for me. She has the address for me. I know, I say. No, she says in her best poor me voice. No, I repeat. I guess she heard me that time because she hasn't asked me to take her to the sex shop since. Am I the demon? Mm. Firstly, well. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, bless her for calling it the condom store. That's yeah, so sweet. That's so cute. I um, I don't really know where to go with this one because I feel I really feel for the mum. Yeah, I do. I kind of feel like shut up, grow a pair, and bring your mum. Her mum has needs. Yeah, help facilitate this. Your your father's passed away. Yeah, and also this will make great material if you become a stand up or you need to go to a therapist. <laughs> this is perfect. This is one of those things. Yeah, where I you would love this. You grit your teeth. Yeah, you zone out as yeah. your mum explores the anal beads. Yeah, and you think this will be great for the memoir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, but I... who else is the mum going to ask? Like, well, really? this is what I was. I would say, for me. Yeah. I don't think I would love to take my mother to a sex no. shop to explore dildos. Also, if she's legally blind, is she f- doing oh, it by feel? Yes. Oh, I forgot about that. Mum, wrap your hand around that. Is that the sort of girth you're looking that for? Feels, Bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. That feels glittery. Which of these feels most like Dad did? So, <laughs> <laughs> I... Phrase you've often... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay. I would say... Yeah. What if you took her to the store? I'm sure one of the nice young things working there yeah. would take your mother's hand and guide her through. Yeah. They must be trained to like yeah. customer care. You know what you're like? You'd have an iPad with an opening, like, help this woman, I can't do it right. You'd like you'd give it to them first. Yeah. You'd post it to them on printed letters with sent. Yeah, yeah. Send, write them a lovely letter. I think on your either emerald that, ink. Or oh, she's legally back. Because I was gonna say oh. you could get up a, a website and let her pick things, yeah. but you'd have to you'd have to sit there and order it with oh, her. But that'd be worse, the audio description. At the absolute worst, is pay somebody. 50 well, quid to take your mother around. Well, and not you just... all of us have got that advert money, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> but you could just... Uh, there must be someone that you could just yeah. who could just take her in. You could wait outside. Yeah. She walks out, everything in yeah. a nice anonymous bag, and you go, got everything you need? Got your batteries? Yeah. She goes, yeah. But let's flip it, shall we? Mm. Like, when the mother was younger and the child was younger, the mother maybe, like mothers have to do and fathers have to do, explain sex, mm. bring them the first condoms, how it works, da 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 you know, uh, sit me down and tell me how, how you pleasure a woman. My favourite woman at the time being she a Princess of Power. Yes. But and like, early Madonna. Yeah, yeah, basically. I think, like, you have to parent up. Your parents yeah. get older. You're going to have to. I'd probably rather do this than scoop up poop of a parent. I think the fact that she's asked over a period of two years. Yeah. This woman yeah. needs. Yeah. She's going to be happy once she gets 
get this woman on love honey yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly she got needs yeah okay well yeah. okay how about this no i don't think you're the demon anonymous yeah but i do think you just need to get your mama good old vibrator absolutely loved the anonymous there have you rehearsed her she was great anonymous yeah the... mm. you bet i've been rehearsing it mm. dane do you have a letter for me I do, sorry, I'm really enjoying my own cocktail. <laughs> it's not a competition, but I just feel like I'm going to win mm, well, overall. Let's see. Okay, also from Anonymous. It's a very common name we've got. <laughs> Luckily, hi, Dane and Dan. This time, mm. they've, they've got that the right way around. Well, they wouldn't, no, they wouldn't have known better because it's They'll only episode one. Beauty comes before age, I yeah. assume. Bless them. Yeah, okay. I was out one Wednesday night in JY Soho, and we all got very drunk. At the end of the night, people started pairing off with guys they'd met on the dance floor. Just before the club closed, I locked eyes with another guy. I don't think we were overly into each other, but we were drunk and it was late. And he lived nearby, so anything to avoid a night bus. Back at his, we had some mediocre midweek sex and slept. The next morning, I woke up early to the call of nature and what I knew would be the vodka shits. <laughs> We've all had those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tiptoed to the loo in my boxes. I don't know why I went Cornish there. I tiptoed to the loo in my boxes, trying not to wake the guy or anyone in the house share. In the bathroom, I couldn't lock the door because there was no door. I didn't have time to oh, think. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Like, no door. In a house share. Okay. Oh, gosh. When was, when was the set? I don't know. I didn't have time to think. I sat on the toilet and opened a portal to the underworld, <laughs> <laughs> praying someone wouldn't come in. I realized then that there was no toilet roll, no wet wipes, no pads, nothing wipeable. I knew I was on borrowed time and was eyeing up the shower curtain when I spotted a flannel. I grabbed it and used it. I couldn't find a bin in this bloody homophobic minimalist bathroom. No. So in my panic, I threw the shit-covered flannel out of the second floor window. <laughs> I was embarrassed and so got out of there quickly. I had to walk via the back of the house to the adjoining alleyway where I noticed that the flannel had landed with a splat <laughs> on downstairs washing, desecrating their crisp sheets. No. I ran to the <laughs> I ran to the alley and didn't look back and ghosted the guy. Am I the demon? Oh my, firstly, if I had someone over and then the next morning, my white company sheets <laughs> had been bombarded with a shitty flannel. I thought he was going to say I flushed the flannel and blocked it, but that's oh. even worse. Yeah, um, hi, Dane, yeah. my darling, yeah. dear friend. Are we going to talk about who Anonymous is? <laughs> Are we going to No, no. Because I believe no. I've heard this story before. Uh, <laughs> You fucking can't. Because, hey, listen, it's episode one. We've not had that many submissions. Have you written up your own story here? Because I know this is you. I am never going to get dick again. <laughs> my, my mother won't be watching. Oh, my God. You threw... It was me. A shitty flannel. How... Well, sorry, what would you have done? Um, Had a shower? Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was no door, and I he lived in like a house show that had like nine yeah, that people. that is deranged. And there was not even any air freshener, and the smell I created was like more door. It was terrible. It was... Like we all know, listener, you will all know. Yeah. When you stay someone's, when you stay someone's house, when you stay at someone's yeah. house for the first time, and you go yeah. to the loo, you fucking how... bastards for calling me out. <laughs> how quiet you have to like release every bodily function. Because normally I would create a force field, a toilet roll to catch yeah. the evil. Yeah, catch like, release. I, I'm a woman on the go. I know how to do it. But play music on your phone. Taps on. Maybe the shower. All I'll say is that a few doors down, they would have thought I was beatboxing in there. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like it was, it was all happening, and all I thought was, but like that would be echoing down the hallway. Yeah, but what I kept thinking was, I who am I to ruin this guy's image off me? I want him to remember last night, Dane. Yeah, Dane, who could do the move. How far was his bedroom door from the open it was, doorway? The, it was uh, two bedrooms away. Okay, yeah. so some hope yeah. that he might not have heard. <laughs> well, I got oh out of there so sharpish. Bless you. So, But it does make me think, because there is an urban legend about this. It's, yeah, right. I was yeah. going to say, there is a, the, there's the story of the girl who shits in the toilet. Yeah. Uses her hands, I think, to like scoop the poo out because full, it won't flush. Full. <laughs> throws it out of the window and it lands on the conservatory roof. Oh, yes. Okay, I've heard a different version. Of, but oh my God. Right, so part of me has thought over time, and you know... I hate attention. Yeah. She loves me, but I hate attention. I have thought, am I the basis of the urban legend? Yeah, and it's like developed over time. Yeah. Because that will have happened to you 30, 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Toilets used to be outside, but when this, <laughs> I had to change it for the letter. I was using the dunny and the <laughs> I had to get the lambswool to wipe. Um, In a time before fibre. 
Oh my. The Yeah. Uh, not the demon. No. I'm I'm going to say you're not the demon here. But maybe Although I mean the the, the not... ugly woman that lived downstairs in her washing. Oh, if if I was living beneath a bunch of gays and I went out to get my gorgeous expensive sheets and there was just a shitty flannel. Yeah. I would burn that house to the ground. But if I was a gay, I'd just be like, oh, those birds, they're getting bigger, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they? Aren't Sweet they getting corn? clever, wiping the... <laughs> Sweet, oh, no. Oh, no, oh yeah, the flannel, sorry. The flannel would throw it. for this <laughs> bloody podcast. Um, I, what, so I would like to just, is... what I would like to just come back to here, because there's a real insight and a shock. Okay. The most shocking thing I know thing you're going to say, I know you're going to say. Boxers. Boxers. I imagine you in a frilly little pant. I was young and then I was young and unafraid. I, I, don't, I so, went through a boxer phase. So manly. My mother bought me them from M&S. Because obviously now it's... Um, now it's nothing. Blue, it's little commando bloomers. because <laughs> of my belly. <ballet. laughs> well, that's that. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Dane. Hey, listener. Hey. That is the end of this episode. That is all from us. Um, thank Have you, you had so fun? Oh, sorry. I've had a you. lovely time. Yes, thank you. I've had a lovely time. Uh, this cocktail is very Moorish. She's very strong. Mm. Don't drive later on. Like, no, I'm just going to have a little sip. Each one's got two shots of gin. So it, uh, All of your cocktails that you've yeah. ever made me in our lives never taste of alcohol. It's that's so secret. Sneaky, yeah, anyway. that's what you do. Yeah. Um, listener, if you liked this. Firstly, thank you so much for listening to episode one. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you here. We were touched and honoured that you've given this a chance. If you'd like to, be sure to check back for new episodes every Thursday. And if you want to earn yourself a VIP place in hell, why not subscribe to our Patreon? Um, you will get extended guest episodes, extra bonus episode every month, uh, and prices start at just 75 pence per week. Mm -hmm. That's your going rate, I think, isn't it, darling? 75 pounds? Well, I do a discount for your father. Okay, I'm going to be sick. Um, <laughs> and also, um, if and when this podcast hopefully does uh, start getting adverts, you know, John Lewis and Le Creuset, we are available, um, our patrons will get ad-free episodes, so you won't be bothered by us wanging on about that. But I think what we'd love more than anything is for our listeners to spread the word, wouldn't mm -hmm. we, Dan? Spread many things. We'd love them to get them their fork little tongues whispering away, telling people about a podcast, telling a friend, telling a lover... And we're gifting them the opportunity to leave a five-star review. You could leave a five-star review. Six-star review. They a six-star if you wanted. Anything less than five stars, of course, I will start, start to, to age. age at a rate of knots. Um, yeah. And as always, as we said, if you want to submit any confessions or grievances for our infernal judgment, you can write to us at judgment at hellpod.com, send us a message on socials at the hellpod, or use the anonymous form on our website, hellpod.com. Uh, thank you, as always, to Spotify for allowing us to use their gorgeous studios, to the angels at Auburn Jam, who made our fabulous music, and to our producer, Yannis. See you next week. Bye! Loving the kiss.